Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm just showing you guys my rigs all fully up and running, and kind of giving you like a quick channel update. And we'll be going over like my Hive OS and showing you guys the settings and what these all are consuming for power wise and all that. These are the NVIDIA P106 100 6 gigabyte graphics cards. And as you see, I have both rigs fully up and running. I do have five cards on each rig. I also have a 1660 that I could add into one of the rigs if I want to, which I'll be working on. But I'm just kind of focusing on the temperatures and getting things adjusted right now. Since it is a warm day, this is only my current cooling setup. is just this one fan with op by an open window here, but I'm working on getting more things set up to keep it cool in here in case I add more rigs and things like that. But yeah, as we see here, we got both about 10 cards running and they're all the same model. The NVIDIA P106-100 6 gigabyte graphics cards. I got them for roughly around $25 each Canadian. So I paid about $100 each for five of them. So not too bad of a deal. I'm not looking to sit here and make a killing off of mining or anything. I am just looking to build up my uh, crypto wallet, you know, with Bitcoin, Litecoin, and a lot of like even just meme coins, lower end coins, Dogecoin, things like that. And then eventually, you know, if the market does well, then I will have a bunch of coins ready to go. I'm not necessarily mining for a profit right now. I never really had the intention on doing that. I just find the whole process behind mining cool and the technology behind it cool. And I figured if I can collect some uh, cryptocurrency from it and hang on to it for a few years or however long I need to until the next boom, then I will do that. And I will keep putting money into more graphics cards and getting more rigs and things like that. But of course, that's just my like process to do it. That's just my way of doing it. Some people mine and sell right away. Some people mine uh, just meme coins and shit coins essentially just to hang on to the portfolio in case one of them booms off. I have done that myself. I've even done it recently with some newer projects. I believe it was like Pep, Pepe Coin or Pepe Pow or something like that. And if you guys want, I can make a video on that, but that boom is kind of over. If you got in early, you made a little bit of money, but if not, it's kind of dropped down now. But there are some other projects that are potentially worth mining that I can go over as well. But yeah, we will jump over to my Hive OS. I am just gonna have it on my phone, just due to the fact if I have my PC running over here, it gets even more warm in here because I have to have a better airflow set up. Mind you, I am in an apartment, so there's not much modification I can do. But if you guys have any tips or any ways of keeping like a room cool for mining, being in an apartment, uh, just let me know in the comments below. But I will go over to my phone now and we will just take a look. Sorry for like having to record it this way, but this is all I can really do. Uh, for now, I just really don't want to make it any more warm in here than I have to. But we will go take a look at that now. So as we see, I have it pulled up on my phone here. I know it's not the best way to really record it, but it's kind of what I'm working with. Between my two rigs, I am pulling about 840 watts with my current settings. I'm doing 86.52 mega hash on Ravencoin because that's the most profitable for these uh, graphics cards. And as you see, I have two workers online, 10 GPUs, so five each. And it is fairly warm, the rigs themselves. But as we see here, we got my both my rigs. They're both getting fairly warm, so I'm probably going to shut them off. I just kind of turned them on for this video. But as we see here, they're both currently mining Ravencoin. This one's having trouble accepting some shares. I just fired it up. But like I said, it is warm in here and everything, and I'm still kind of working on some power settings and overclocks and underclocks because I'm still fairly new to these cards. But I just want to give you guys a quick oversight here on what like the Hive OS is looking like so you guys can have a comparison if you're looking to get these cards or anything. But mind you, I am still working on settings. I have to do a little bit more research. I just wanted to show you guys my rigs up and running because some people were asking from last video if they are up and running. And in case they didn't see them or anything, I got them all set up last video, but I didn't actually power them on. So the cards do work. It's just like I said, it is very warm in here. It's like pushing 35, 40 degrees outside. And then with these cards running, I can imagine it's like pushing like 50 in here. So... I did have AC and stuff set up, but my AC unit kicked out just because it's having problems. So nothing is really going my way right now, but we will work on that. But like I said, I just kind of want to show you guys these rigs and what they're capable of. You can mine Caspa on them. You can mine Ethereum Classic. There's a few different algorithms you can mine. It's just Ravencoin is the most profitable. They both uh, Ravencoin pulls in about 
I believe is about 90 cents a rig to 95 cents a rig Canadian, so almost $2 Canadian a day. So it's not horrible considering I only paid like $100 for five cards. So in due time, I'll make some money back or if the market does take off. So in Hive OS, they have the option you can use some presets that's made by the community or Hive OS, whichever, and it allows you to overclock or underclock your cards. So I decided to get some, like, set up some of the presets on both of my rigs here. So now this one's running a little bit more better for temperature wise. I lost some hash rate, obviously, because power limits down lower and all that, but it is saving a little bit of heat, so I'm able to actually run a little bit. I'm going to try out some other presets and stuff throughout. And then down here, it seems like my one card, the GPU Zero, so like my first graphics card on the rig, is having a little bit of a heating issue. I've been running this one a bit longer and it's not even touching it. I even have this one on a lower power limit. So I will have to take a look and see and check it out because it looks like one of them is still set to 85 power limit. So I will take a quick look at that. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you that it has it. So all you do is click into your rig and then all you're going to do is scroll down on your rig, go over, and then you're going to click the tuning option. And then at the top here, there's going to be popular presets. You select your coin and algorithm and it'll give you a bunch for your card on whatever algorithm that you are on. So it's just kind of neat and cool to show you guys. So yeah, it seems like it's running a little better. I'm going to tweak it a little bit more. But I'll quickly show you where I'm mining to, like the pool and stuff, because I am mining Ravencoin. So I am just using two miners here. As you see, I started using it just the other day to test it out. My current hash rate 57, it's roughly around like 65, 70. And I'm making around 76 cents a day, but this hash rate's always jumping depending on how many shares are being accepted and everything. And I just fired this up, so usually about after about an hour it stabilizes and it'll give you more of a stable liability on what you're gonna get. But I decide just to mine Ravencoin directly and then if I decide I can convert it to whatever, because Ravencoin is supported on most like exchanges and stuff. But yeah, I didn't have intention on this being like too long of a video. I just wanted to show you guys these rigs up and running and everything. Like I said, having some heating issues, but I will work on that. And then I will do like kind of a follow up video, but I will be posting tutorials and my normal videos I have been posting over the last while on my channel. I will continue posting the content I've been posting because you guys obviously like it. I get lots of support for my videos I make and I appreciate that. I just did take some time off just to step back and you know, get some more rigs. I had a lot of schedule changes at work. My schedule was flip flopping around so I didn't have steady time to go ahead and record videos but now it's been stable the last while and I'm all rested up and I'm ready to go and start grinding out and making videos and content for you guys. Like I said, I'm getting more and more rigs to bring you guys along on the journey. I remember when we started this channel, we only had like one rig in a closet in my first apartment, and now we're up to 10 graphics cards. It's And like I always say, I'm always on a budget because I try to make this channel kind of like a budget mining channel. Yeah, I'm not uh, turning a crazy profit on any of this right now, but that's not the intention for like myself. You guys might have other intention and that's all right. Everyone has their own intention when it comes to mining. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to quickly update you guys on everything. And show you guys these rigs fully running after my last video but yeah that's all pretty much what i got for you guys today if you did enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my content but i hope you all have an amazing day and this is krebsy crypto signing out